This program is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. Broadcasting and streaming live all Across America, this is Home Talk USA with Michael King, where we will discuss topics pertaining to your home with industry-leading experts. Michael King is a licensed general contractor with more than 30 years of experience in home improvements and the author of Contracting with the King. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Yeah, hey! Welcome, America. This is Home Talk USA. We want to welcome all of you to the Invent America Show, part of the Home Talk USA radio family. All our uh, listeners that was um, listening to Home Talk, our first hour, where we had the Invent Lady on herself talking about the Invent America Show, upcoming uh, guests and topics, future guests and topics. We were talking about the uh, uh, the trade show coming up that she's excited about, but a lot going on uh, here on Home Talk USA. Some breaking news, as you know, uh, episode, uh, uh, we are broadcasting episode 1061. We got the big anniversary, January 24th, uh, 2024, where we're going to be on for 20 years, and we're going to become the longest running uh, independent um, home improvement self-help show on the weekend. We're excited about that, but uh Enough of me rambling off here. Uh, I'd like to welcome to the show my co-host, uh, the inventor lady herself, Rita Crompton. How you doing, Rita, again? I am doing just <laughs> fine, and thank you so much. Um, you know, the, the Invent America family, being part of Home Talk USA and how, you know, your, your longevity in all of that has been such an honor for, for me and for all of our inventors who have, who have been on. And, you know, your audience, your listening audience, is such a unique mixture of inventors, all right, Listeners who are our consumers who have, it's like, I want to get that product. I want to go to that website. I want to help that inventor out. And then the store owners who want to carry the products and the licensees. I've had people contact me and say, I really want to get my hands on that, the information on that product. Who do I contact? Because I want to, I want to carry that. I want to license that. So, you know, you have covered, your audience just covers the whole entire gamut of getting products out there. It's a wonderful. Thank you. Well, uh, yeah, well, the, the feeling's mutual. Um, uh, Rita, I mean, we're just trying to help people out. And, uh, you know, my goal of this is um, seeing, you know, not only seeing and hearing and uh, uh, witnessing firsthand the tragedies of these young inventors and the mistakes they made. And it would be a shame for a technology not to hit the market for um, not only financial reasons, but reasons that maybe if they would have had the the information or the blueprint to get their product to market um that the product would have got to market um you know it, it, we need technology we need innovation we want to invent things and uh we just want to make sure that we give our young uh inventors a fighting chance does that make sense Absolutely. And when, when, when you use the word young, I'm thinking new inventors because so many of our inventors are in their 60s and 70s. It's amazing. Um, so we want to make sure that we're encouraging all of those new inventors out there, no matter what their age, take the first step. Find out, do you really have something? And a lot of times the reason why it's, you know, 
people who are approaching retirement or are retired is because in their work, they started coming up with things and they realized they were a problem solver. Well, now they've retired, and sometimes their wife is like, oh, my God, you have got to get out of the kitchen because you're making me crazy. It's like, well, they go down to their workbench, and they invent something. And it's been so much fun to hear all their stories on how they came up with something. And one lady, you know, we've been working with, she was laid off in early December this year. And she said, I've been working on this idea. And my husband said, you know, hey, let's get to it now. And now you've got time to get this product into the marketplace. And so we're talking about taking her to ASD Market Week. It's wonderful. Now, what, what kind of show um, we got coming up? Well, we're talking about packaging today. You know, it's the Christmas season. A lot of people are shopping and they're looking for things online. And for our inventors, you know, if somebody buys something online, it could arrive in a Ziploc bag because they've already paid for it. But that's not the case when you're looking at a store. You know, things are packaged. Well, packaging has changed a lot in the last 10, 15 years. Everything used to be in a clamshell. Now, you know, they look at you like you're destroying the environment if it's in a clamshell. So, you know, what's happened? What are the options? Um, How do you package your product and get someone's interest to pick it up? It's like a book cover. You know, if it's a horrible book cover, nobody's going to buy it because they didn't like the cover. If it's horrible packaging, nobody picks it up to look at how much it's going to cost them because the packaging didn't get their attention. And so those are the things we're going to talk about, but they're both really cool Christmas gifts. So it doesn't matter whether you're a guy using a grill or a lady trying to get your hair tied up. Both of our inventor guests today um, have great Christmas gifts. Wow. So it's a good time of year. Yeah. Fun time of year. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. What is your, what <laughs> you is your website? Like I'm so excited. What is your website, uh, um, Invent America website? Invent America. We have actually got two different versions of it. It's inventamerica.info or invent-america.com. So however you want to work that, invent, you, you know what I've, I've learned? You can put Invent America Radio into the Google search bar, and it takes you right to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we are not hard to find. Um, you can go to the Inventor Lady website um, as well, and we've got links all over the place to get to um, our Invent America website. And the Invent America web- website now um, was new in... November, I believe, that we separated it from Inventor Lady. So it's got its own standalone website now. It makes it a lot easier for people to find our sponsors. It makes it a lot easier for them to go to the old listing for the shows that have been previously aired. Um, And it makes it a lot easier for them to find how to be on the show. And so we just felt it was time. Invent America was ready to grow up and stand on its own two feet and have all of its sponsors easily listed so that, you know, we can thank then the Kicker Design and Product Quick Start and CAD Design um, with Scott Tarsey that, you know, have been our sponsors and helped us, you know, grow up and, you know, see that annual, that, you know, first annual celebration roll around for Invent America. All right. Well, Rita, we definitely want to thank um – you and uh, we're excited. Uh, we only got a couple more weeks left, and then we're going to go on hiatus for like uh, three weeks. So, um, but we're going to get away. So, um, we want to make sure that we get the topics in and upcoming topics for next year. And but uh, we're going to be wrapping up for the year, and then we're going to be focusing on the oh, trade show. I know. Yeah. Yep, we are. And all of our products will be on the radio. Everything we're taking, we want to get them out there as much and promote them. And um, we've got some wonderful things that are going in a huge variety. So we are so excited about this show coming up. Great, so much. All right, Rita, we've got to take a short break. There is the um, music. That's uh, my cue. Um, that we got to step gotta away a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, all, right. all right, check. All right, so we're going to take a short break. Got to pay some bills. Please visit our website, hometalkusa.com. When we come back, me and the event lady will be talking to our first guest right here on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network, streaming live at the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNLife.com. I'm the Cajun man for the Bayou Land Originator. Not to duplicate it. Please don't accept my substitutions. Man, I was green before green was even cool. Me and Rita will be right back. Yay!
Talk USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com. One of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home. And there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country. Home Talk USA with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Welcome back to the show. All right, everyone. I'm going to... Uh, Rita, who's our first guest? Well, our first guest is Daryl Swank. He um, owns a fireplace and barbecue company in Denver, Colorado, um, and they maintain and install um, fireplaces and barbecues. And what he learned over the years is those brushes that we all buy to clean our grills are not very good, and they constantly fall apart and, and have to be thrown out. So he invented a very cool new ice grill brush. And, Daryl, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Rita. Nice, nice to talk to you. It's nice to have you along with us. And so I wanted, I want you to tell everybody about this really cool Christmas gift that they should all be going to Etsy um, to find you or one of the, the local hardware stores that's carrying it. Um, you, those are generally in the Colorado area, right? Uh, yes. Um, there, is, there is some hardware stores in California that carry it, um, some Ace Hardware cool. stores, and some in the Midwest as well. But it's a uh, it's a brush designed to, to kind of steam clean your grill. You you dump ice in the hopper, and as the ice melts down through the brush, it helps to uh, to steam clean your grill and break up the the buildup on your grill. So it's kind of a, a new design. There is some steam cleaning brushes out there, but most of them use water, and the, the water evaporates so fast that uh, it doesn't give you time to clean the clean the grate. Well, so. that makes perfect sense. Um, yeah. So we're talking today about how important packaging is. So when somebody buys something online, they've already paid for it. So whether they like the packaging or not, they really don't even get to see it till the package till the product arrives. But where you're in the Ace Hardware stores, um, how did you determine how to package the brush? Tell us what what your packaging looks like and how you came up with it. Well, basically, I just have a plastic uh, cover around the. The brush head itself, so that way people can feel and, and hold the uh, handle, and you know, and the, the packaging is clear, so they're they're able to, to see through. And they could take the packaging off too if they wanted to look at it. Um, it's just it's just wrapped with a uh, kind of like a bread wrapper, to where they can remove it mm-hmm. and then they feel it and touch it. Because uh, I think a lot of people want to do that. They don't want to just buy something that's in a plastic, uh, you know, container that they can't, you know, get access to and touch. So, well, that's and that makes sense because, you know, when you're talking about a brush, if the, mm-hmm. the bristles just, you know, are so whimsy, um, they're not going to clean the grill. So it makes sense that they would want to touch it and feel it because that's what gives them the idea of how strong the, br- the brush is. Correct, yeah. And, and people want to feel it and they want to feel the weight and they want to be able to, you know, kind of put it in their hands and, and know what it's going to feel like when they're when they're cleaning their their grill. Otherwise, you know, if it's in a plastic, uh, you know, those hard plastic covers that you have to have a knife to get to, um, I think you look <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I know. You, to- it's, you know, I'm surprised that they still have those, but, you know, the, yeah. where you, you, it's like, you're, I don't understand what you're so afraid of on, you know, getting into this packaging, but you, you know, need, you know, tools to get the package open. Um, and it makes a lot more sense to have, you know, something that's, that's easy. And biodegradable is a big deal these days. Correct. Yes, it is. And, uh, you know, our brushes are made out of stainless steel and wood, so so they're designed to last for years. And then when you're when you're done with it, the stainless steel can be recycled, and then the wood can, you know, the wood's biodegradable. You can burn it or throw it in the, you know, a wood pile or, or you know, decompose it or whatever, or, de- or you know, break it down, shred it if you wanted. So. Yeah, that's that's why we do that. Have you run into any instances where a store, because I, I know for some inventors this has happened, where the stores ask you particularly for certain types of packaging? No, no, not really. I mean, this one's designed to where it uh, 
you know, it has a it has a leather hook where you can hook it on your grill. So they they just basically hook it on a, uh, a, a you know a hook on the um, on their their shelving, and it works perfectly. And then they can put five or six of them in one row, you know, to, to where it's already got the, a hook design on it. Where I, I know a lot of things, you know, take up shelving space, but this just literally hangs on a on a hook. So I think they like that. Yeah, and that makes that makes great sense because if you know if it was where they if they couldn't hang it, all right, and they just had to set them there, they would kind of rumble all over the place. You know, it would you wouldn't be able to stack them, and as soon right. as somebody touched them, the stack would fall over. So what you what yeah. you did made perfect sense, and of course, then it would hang on your grill as well. Sure. Yeah. So this it takes up less space, and I think the Ace, a lot of these hardware stores really like it because they can you know they can just put it in there with the other products they have as well, and they don't have to re, you know, shell something, make a bigger space or a smaller space, you know, depending on the size. So I think they really like that. Absolutely. So what are the next steps for you, Daryl? What are you, you know, you said you were in some of the different stores in the Midwest, in California, Ace, the Ace stores. Um, what's what's your next goal? What are you trying to trying to get to? Well, you know, we, we have a, we, we may uh, be at the point to where, we want to maybe a company to, to take over, you know, to license it to another company to where we can get it out to a, a larger volume. But um, uh, right now the way I, I have it selling is it's selling well for me, but um, I think I, I want to go to a larger scale, and that might be to, to license it to another another company, you know, get it out there in the, right. in the market more. That sounds great, and you are going to go to ASD Market Week with us. Yes, I'm going to go to the show, and uh, and uh, hopefully it'll display well, and you know we'll have some interest in it out there. Well, we're excited to have you with us, and um, I know you know we did a um, years ago did a. Um, uh, it wasn't a pitch fest, but it was a, a, a people giving their opinion on something. And everybody said, what color should it, the packaging be? And, you know, the, the options were gray, brown, and, and, and black. And when they went out, they were given a free one. They always they all picked the yellow packaging. So it's like, all right, so much for, you know, people answering questions. And, um, you know, you never know. Um, but we need to go ahead and take a break. Daryl, thank you so much. Um, when we hear that music playing, we know we need to go and pay some bills. So if you're an inventor out there and you need a service provider and you're not sure who to um, pick, give me a call because I am happy to give you um, ticker design, product quick start, or the name of an attorney who's going to do a really good job for you. So stick with us. We have got another inventor guest coming on who has got another wonderful Christmas option for this year. Stick with us. Thanks very much. 